Hey everybody, it's Allison here with New Little Life. I just saw my Haka Pump on the shelf and I realized that I had four different kinds of Haka Pumps. So today I'm gonna show you each of those. Pros and cons of each and kind of what they're for so you know the difference. Okay, so obviously I have the Haka, just the regular one. I also found a milk catcher, the little Haka ladybug, and the Generation 3. Here we go. Okay, so let's start with kind of the lightest suction and milk removal and go towards the heaviest, okay? So this is just a plain old milk catcher. There's no suction really. It's just for catching leaking milk. This one is kind of nice though because it has these, um, what are those called? Wedges in there to help it to stay firm. So this is great if you especially, maybe you have sore nipples or you don't want something touching them. This is a great way to give it some space so that you can heal or have some freedom or whatever. So it just goes on like this. There's no suction, it just sits on the breast like that. There is a little hole up top, right there, and a little plug that goes in it. That thing is easy to get lost, FYI. As far as something to catch the milk, it's fine. The hole's right in the middle, so it kind of catches, it only catches on the bottom, which is not my favorite. You could tell the hole right here. It also has these little bumps on the inside, which do kind of give it a nice section, but I don't love, they did leave like little bumps on my skin, which was not a big deal, but I did really like this to just like keep stuff off of the nipples when you needed them to. So a cool little thing. Awkward in the bra shape, it's really tiny, but works very well. Okay, next in the Haka line of suction strength is the little ladybug, I believe this is called. This is meant to be a lighter suction than your standard Haka pump, and I agree that it is. So here's what the deal is with this one. The inside is really, really flexible, really soft. And then here it turns to a harder, a harder plastic. It has a little opening on the top to pour the milk out, which is really nice, or release really suction if you need it. It also has two little feet on the bottom to stand on the table. Now, this is a really good idea in theory. <laughs> it works okay, it's not my favorite. Here's a couple of things I don't like about it. It has no measurements on the side, so you can't really tell. It's also a tiny bit of an awkward shape, but it does fit in the bra better than like a haka that sticks off. You know, you could actually put that in your bra. Not the best shape. I'm actually gonna be doing a review on Instagram on a product that I like better for in the bra milk catching and even has some suction. So you can check Instagram over there. A little product from LV, it's awesome. Anyway, this also is kind of an awkward feel, I guess. It's really, it's really flimsy, which is nice, but the hole is very big. So there's that. It does have very light suction, so if you're looking for something not as strong as the Haka, but just a little bit of something, it works well. The only thing I don't like about the suction, though, is that you can push it to get the suction on. And this balloon has a little bit longer nipple than I'm sure you do. But you can even see on there, that is kind of what it felt like while I was wearing it. So the suction part goes in right on the nipple and so I had to put it really, really light so that it didn't touch the nipple there. You can't get that to go anywhere else. <laughs> so I did have to put it really light just to like as barely, as barely as I could to get it to stay on so my nipple wasn't touching the end. So. But it did draw out more milk than a milk catcher, not as much as a Haka. So if you wanted something in between little ladybug. Okay, next is just your Haka pump, and you guys have all seen these. There's more videos on my channel about these. There's a video on how to put it on. The Haka is a nice tool, though. You can get some pretty strong suction. A lot of moms get uh, several ounces with this. Probably two ounces is a really common measurement. If you're getting less than that, don't freak out. It just works differently for everybody. The only thing I don't like about the Haka is the suction. You do have to get it right so that the suction is not touching your nipple in any way <laughs> because it hurts. So, but otherwise, a great little pump. The one huge 
con of the Haka pump is that it sticks off you like this. So you cannot put it in the bra or use it discreetly. It's like sticking out. So it's also sometimes the baby can kick it off. Anyway, go over on Instagram. I'm going to show you a product that I like even better than the Haka, which is crazy. But these are super cheap. They work really well. Most moms have one of these because they're so cheap and they work well for catching milk. It is called a pump. It's called a silicone pump. And it's not like a traditional pump that like goes in and out. But because there's suction, it is drawing out more milk than is just going to leak out that you would catch in like a catcher, okay? So you need to be careful how much you use the Haka. I think I've said this in other videos before, but you can cause an oversupply by taking out more milk than is just naturally coming. So this is not a traditional pump, but it is a type of pump. So just be cautious. Otherwise, I recommend this product to a lot of moms. I still really, really like it. Now, if you're looking for strong suction, you're gonna be using your Haka a lot, you're gonna be feeding that milk a lot, the Generation 3 is where it's at for you. This has the strongest suction of any of the Hakas. The top is really similar to just the traditional Haka. The thing with this though is this bottle part down here, you can even see it's not distorting this top as much at all as the other one. See, this isn't coming down and like pinching the nipple at all. I even have that on there. Holy cow, look at that section. Can you see that? Uh, it's pulling, it's crooked. Don't put it on crooked like this, but that is some really, really strong section and you don't get the warping on the top. So you can also, you can adjust it. If you don't want it that hard, don't squeeze it that hard. But the nice thing about this Haka is that the top comes off okay so once you've collected the milk you've got the little top here and then you've got two options I do think that these are an additional purchase if I remember right I purchased this a while ago but you can do just the little topper I think this comes off too oh yeah that comes off as well so you can put just that little topper off and put that right in the fridge so that's nice. That's not something that I usually do with this Haka because it's gonna spill or even the ones that have the little stopper in here, that's just not secure. Or if you want to feed it right away, you absolutely can. So you can put this nipple in here right in this ring, put that right on the milk, and there you go. I actually like the shape of that nipple. Hmm, it's got some good stuff going on. This one also holds the most milk. This will hold it up six, this is six ounces from here to here, where this one only measures up to four, and that's like freaking full. This one, I bet you could only get two in, maybe, and this one probably one. So, do you need a Gen 3 Haka? Maybe, I don't know. I think almost everyone can get away with just the normal standard Haka, but, I do like the versatility that the Gen 3 offers, especially if you're planning on using the milk right after quite often, or you want an easier way to store it. I also do like the suction style a little bit better on the Gen 3. It is a bit bulkier, so that's not awesome, but the Haka even is sticking out anyway, so there's that. I do like that one. So. That's all four Hakas for you. I hope that helps clarify some of the differences between them. If you have questions about them or want to tell me your favorite one, put that in the comments. I'd love to know. And we'll see you on the next video.